if you're if you're having uh, rough idle issues, installing issues on your car, and you haven't checked this out, and you've checked everything else out, and everything else looks really good, your alternator is a prime source of uh, rough idle issues installing. This this alternator here will leave you stranded on the side of the road without any warning whatsoever. Uh, one of the diodes inside here could have gone bad and it's it's a, a leaking AC current into the system and you could still be getting a charge over here on your battery you can put your digital voltmeter up to it you can see you've got whatever 14.3 uh, 14.6 volts charging uh, your battery showing 12.6 everything looks good and you think well that's not my problem and Again, one of the diodes in here could be bad, and it's leaking, uh, leaking AC voltage into the system where it's allowing, uh, the diodes are one way, and it could be allowing current to go back into the system, and, uh, and it could, that right there, your alternator can wreak havoc on, on your systems. The slightest variation in voltage cause you a lot of problems. I, my my uh, my purpose for making this video uh, isn't to show somebody how to repair an alternator, how to repair their system. The purpose of me making the video is to draw attention to the fact that if you if you have rough idle issues and you have stalling issues, I would look I wouldn't just look at face value on this alternator or my battery or my charging system. I would go. I would go in detail. I would do as many. I would run as many tests as I could possibly run on this. And again, there's a lot of guys on YouTube where they really know what they're doing. Now, I'd looked at most of them and run a lot of tests uh, on this. Uh, the alternator is going to cause a lot of problems. Uh, these cars are these cars are very sensitive to voltage variations. can run a load test on your battery. I purchased this handheld BA-101 battery analyzer about a year ago and this is a this is a good source to give you a start this gives you a good starting point. This analyzes your charging system and analyzes your battery and analyzes your your cranking system and uh, I made a video of another vehicle I ran it on. I'll, I'll add it in and you know try to help somebody out but this only costs fifty dollars and this is a good place to start But here's the here's here's the data from the cor from the Corvette that I got off the battery analyzer that BA101 battery analyzer that you can see uh, you can print it out and if you get some some data that you're not satisfied with you can take it down to your mechanic and uh, maybe share it with him and uh, show him what you've got get a professional to analyze everything uh, to be to verify what you're what you're suspecting. But here's a here's my charging test off my 1984 Corvette that shows the ripple ripple 15 millivolts, which is under the 50 that I had referenced earlier. So my alternator looks like it's, my alternator is doing its job. My my battery's uh, pretty well shot, even though. You know, if you feel comfortable going with the information you get and you think you can change out your alternator or change out your battery, you know, that's that's fine. If you don't feel comfortable with your readings or you're getting erroneous readings between this analyzer and your digital voltometer, you can take it to a professional. At least you'll have some place to start and tell him what, you, what you're looking at, what you suspect, and, and he can put it on some uh, professional scopes and you can go from there. Uh, but again, I think I've said this about four times. This will call you. This will cause you rough idle. Your alternator, your charging system, and your battery will cause you rough idle on this car.
But anyway, with the engine running, you should see about 14.6 volts charging. Just with it set on DC voltage, you can take your, your voltmeter. Again, this is an end of a 3320. You can turn it straight over to AC. And you can see how many AC volts. Here's a look at this little handheld battery tester here. Uh, I'm not going to... I'm not going to get real involved with it because there's some really good videos. But you know, for working on your Corvette, this is a great place to start. Healthy battery, 50, 57 percent, 645 cold cranking amps. Pretty good charge. Good, good. Just recharge. So then you can also go. working on charging right now charging test ripple test which uh, was something I was very interested in on the Corvette uh, charging test enter it shows your graph increase RPM to 2500 Enter. Charging normal. Ripple is 10 millivolts. It shouldn't be more than 50 millivolts. If there were, if it's more than 50, then you've got a problem. There's probably AC current coming through your one of your diodes and your alternator is burned out. It's allowing AC current through. But uh, again, this is just some simple test you can run on your car to make sure that your charging system is correct. But again with your when you're checking your checking your alternator output, you know, put your this is an actual test on another vehicle, put your DC meter to digital uh, excuse me, DC volts. Take your, put your red lead on your positive post, your black lead on your negative post. This is just a simple test that you can run. You see your charging voltage, 14.32. You can take your digital voltmeter while everything is hooked up, engine running and everything. Turn it over to AC volts. You should not see more than 0.5 volts, 50 millivolts. This is showing 0.012 volts. 